But this is your 4R4L Universal Curette. It's used posterior only and is good for larger deposits and deeper pocket areas or for reach in hard to reach areas in the posterior. It does have a longer shank than the 1314, but the design is pretty much identical other than that. So I'm gonna show on the lower right, I would have my patient in mandibular position. I will be at eight or nine o'clock since it's a surface towards me. I would retract my patient's cheek gently with my mirror, establish my fulcrum, my modified pin grasp, and then get in the get ready zone, which is my distal line angle. So you're gonna start distal line angle, leaning the curette towards the tooth just a little to establish your 70 degree angulation. Your new distal line angle in a round. Remove the curette from the sulcus and then lead with your curette, starting distal line angle. Do an oblique strokes across the buckle and around the mesial. With your curettes, you're going all the way to the jun junctional epithelium, which is the base of the pocket. If you do feel calculus, make sure you get apical too, which means underneath the deposit. If you're not feeling any calculus, then you're just going to be using a light exploratory stroke. But if you do come across a deposit, you're going to get underneath. You're really going to tighten up on your grasp just a little. Be very firm on your fulcrum and then apply lateral pressure to remove the deposit. It's short, strong strokes when, um, when removing calculus. And do oblique, roll around to the mesial, distal line angle, start distal line angle across the buckle, the mesial. Again, when you're just using exploratory strokes, you should have a very, very light, light gliding grasp. The strokes can be very easy, so it's going to look more like this. 